Welcome back to the Anatomy Lab. In this video, we are going to talk about the effects of foam rolling on fascia. The reason I'm making this video is because some people commented that foam rolling can actually rupture or destroy fascia. I don't share this belief and here's my reasoning. In all fairness, first we have to realize that fascia is a very broad term and different people might use it for different things. So here's my definition. Fascia is a remarkable tissue that forms a web-like structure throughout the body. It wraps around muscles, organs, nerves and blood vessels and creates a continuous interconnected network. Fascia exists everywhere in the body with properties tailored to its specific roles. Some types are dense and tough, while others are thinner and more flexible, and it all depends on the demands placed on them. The most relevant type of fascia for our topic is deep fascia, which is a dense layer that is found between muscles. This layer is essential for separating and organizing muscle groups into compartments and also connects them. To better visualize this, let's look at the quads for example. First, imagine the sheets of fascia wrapping around each individual muscle. These layers act like protective envelopes, keeping each muscle distinct. Then, we add the muscles to see how this setup forms compartments. And finally, we wrap it all up with an extra layer of fascia that connects the entire muscle group. When viewed under a microscope, fascia reveals an incredible three-dimensional network made of densely woven collagen fibers which are suspended in a gel-like matrix. This unique structure is what gives fascia its strength, flexibility and adaptability. The gel-like component allows fascia to glide smoothly across adjacent tissues, while the collagen fibers provide the tensile strength needed to handle physical stress. It's this structural design that allows fascia to absorb and distribute mechanical stress throughout the body while protecting muscles and other tissues. Now, foam rolling primarily interacts with deep fascia. When you apply pressure from above with a foam roller, it creates a compressive force that engages the fascia. Thanks to its dense collagen fibers, deep fascia can handle this pressure without tearing or rupturing. The gel-like matrix and fiber alignment help to distribute the force evenly and prevents localized damage and supports the recovery process. But in all fairness, as we said before, not all fascia shares the same resilience as deep fascia. For example, the fascia surrounding blood vessels is thinner and more flexible. It's designed to cushion and protect delicate structures like the capillaries, which have thin walls for nutrient exchange. When excessive pressure is applied during foam rolling, small blood vessels like capillaries can rupture, and this can lead to minor bruising. But it's important to understand that this bruising is caused by the vulnerability of the blood vessels, not the damage of the fascia itself. So here are my final thoughts. Fascia is truly an incredible tissue, but it's often underappreciated and underestimated for how resilient and adaptive it really is. Sometimes I feel like people don't fully grasp just how tough fascia and the human body as a whole can be. The human body is remarkably durable, and so is fascia. It takes much more than a foam roller to cause significant harm. Just think about what we can all endure through activities like Thai boxing, parkour or other intense physical challenges, all without sustaining injuries. Fascia is built to handle far more than we often give it credit for. Anyway, if you want to dive deeper into fascia and its properties, I highly recommend exploring the work of Tom Myers. His YouTube channel, I think, is Anatomy Trains and it's an excellent resource. I'll have a link in the description. I also strongly encourage you to watch the documentary Strolling Under the Skin, which features real footage of fascia in motion. While I put a lot of effort into creating my animations, they simply can't match the level of detail you'll see in this real life footage. Watching it will truly open your eyes and help you understand why I speak so passionately about fascia and its resilience. Anyway, I think this is it for me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Stay curious, challenge your beliefs daily, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.